Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest updates. We start with this shocking story claiming that Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich are considering a loan move for Frankie de Jong. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, talking about Memphis Depay, it has been reported that Juventus are to hold a key meeting today to decide on Memphis Depay transfer. We are also going to be looking on that. So, guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. So, you always stay in touch with the latest NFC Barcelona. Give the video a like and please make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. In a fresh twist, Frankie de Jong could still end up leaving Barcelona before the transfer window closes as German champions Bayern Munich are considering a late loan swoop for the Dutchman. This claim comes from journalist Gerard Romero, who states that the Bavarian Giants could be looking at striking a deal similar to the one that they had for Philippe Coutinho a few years ago. De Jong's future has been a hot topic, you know, a hot debate all through the summer as Barca hope to offload a 25-year-old midfielder as a seek to get rid of his massive wages from their payroll to facilitate player registration and also bring in top target Bernardo Silva. However, the former Ajax ace who has been a subject of an 85 million euro bid from Manchester United this summer does not plan on leaving Barcelona as he feels settled at the club and the city and wishes to succeed at Camp Nou. To that end, the young has already turned down Manchester United's overtures, especially due to the fact that the Red Devils are not playing in the Champions League this season. But with Barca desperate to get him out, the Netherlands international could change his stance in the final days of the transfer window, especially if a club of Bayern stature come calling. Previous reports have indicated that the young could be open to joining the Arotten as he would be playing Champions League football and vying for trophies. Bayern have strengthened their midfield this summer with the signing of Ryan Gravenbach from Ajax. The return to form of Markel Sabitza has also helped Julian Nagelsmann's side, but Leon Goreska's fitness problems could warrant the addition of another midfielder. Bayern Munich had previously signed Philippe Coutinho on loan from Barcelona during the 2019-2020 campaign and went on to win the Champions League that season. However, they did not exercise the option of signing him permanently. The Young's case could turn out different though, considering that the Bundesliga champions have been long-time admirers for the 25-year-old. With a week left before the window closes, there could be a major development at the Camp Nou. For the longest time, Barca have been looking to get rid of Frankie de Young. You know, just to satisfy their needs in terms of player registration, financial fair play rules, you know, Bernardo Silva, most especially, and all those could be possible if and only if Frankie de Jong had decided to leave. But now that United came knocking on the door to the extent of agreeing terms with Barca, the player still refused that he won't leave. Chelsea also came knocking, but nothing happened. So even now, it seems as though Frankie de Jong we stay put at Barcelona the whole season. Now getting this report from Gerard Romero himself that Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich are considering a late swoop when it comes to Frankie de Jong to loan him, to bring him on loan. And of course, that could be somehow tempting compared to Chelsea and Manchester United, right? We know who Bayern are. Bayern is a very tough side. It's a side that is a guarantee for trophies when any player goes there. And they are the favorites for Champions League as well, so that could be tempting. And when we look at the fact that Laporta have been forcing the, the young to leave, that could be a very tempting factor if Bayern come knocking on the door for a loan move. Barca will be so tempted to sell or to give him on loan because the wages will not be paid in full anymore. Because the fact that the wages for Frankie the Young are so high. If Vasa can reduce the wages, maybe even if it's through a loan paying just, just a percentage of that wage, it will greatly help Vasa to, you know, to help them to register Kunde, to maybe buy some other players. But I don't, I'm not still sure if they will be able to go for Bernardo Silva if it is a loan move because they were more hoping to go for Bernardo Silva if it was a permanent transfer. 
But now that Bayern want to go back for a loan, possibly in the final few days of this transfer, Barca might just use that opportunity to pay a less percentage for the for the young salary, which will help them a lot when it comes to the La Liga's financial fair play rules. But it still remains a big ask if the young will even be tempted to go to Bayern. He loves Barca a lot and wants to settle down under the tutelage of Javi Hernandez in the squad. So let's see if Bayern will succeed to get him on loan this late in the transfer window. Then on to the next story of discussion. Gabriel Sanz of Mundo Deportivo is reporting that the technical and financial directors of Juventus will get together to hold a meeting today on the 23rd of August to decide whether the signing of Memphis Depay is feasible. Depay has been reported as on his way out from FC Barcelona ever since the Catalans made their marquee signing in the form of Robert Lewandowski from Bayern Munich. The Dutch striker has been further from first team action than ever with Barca and the move to Juventus could be on the cards for the Netherlands international. With talks on the way already, the UV technical staff see him as a player that can solve and cover critical positions in the team in the form of a winger and a striker. The reports were furthered by Juventus transfer chief Pavel Nedved, who confirmed that the club was looking at the pie as a potential signing alongside a few other options. However, the Bianconeri have pulled a stop to this move in the last few days since they are unable to come to a financial agreement with the players' camp. Memphis has reportedly asked for a two-year deal worth 7 million euro per year in wages with an additional 12 months as well added bonuses. It is an increase in the earlier demands that were made, which the Italians were willing to accept. Due to the new demands, Juve will evaluate the alternatives and the, profitable, the profitability of a cost-free operation at the meeting today. Marco Anatovic of Bologna and Milik of Marseille are being looked at as, as an alternative as both players are capable of filling in for Dusan Vlahovic. At Barca, they believe that the pie will reach an agreement with the Turin Giants. His impending exit will help reduce the salary mass at the Camp Nou. However, that could still not be enough to register Jules Koundé in La Liga. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.